Welcome back to Zanzibar and welcome to Stone Town as we are leaving and we are heading out in our trusty steed behind us to see what it's like really driving yourself around Zanzibar and whether you should dare to do it. How do you feel about driving in Zanzibar? To be honest, I mean I've driven in Kenya yeah. and I've actually driven this one just now to the gas station. How was it? It wasn't too bad yeah. to be honest. It's a nice little car. I rented this from a company called Friendly Travels and Tours, a guy called Lookman. Really nice guy, hopefully a trustworthy guy. He printed me out a driving permit and everything to drive here on the island, so make sure your rental company does that too. Should Let's go. go. I've got to say, it's been a while since we rented a car. It's nice to be driven around, but it's so much nicer to discover things at your own pace. So if you are a good driver and you're confident in other countries, definitely rent cars and scooters and Make sure you get all your that paperwork. stuff. Get your paperwork and let's rock and roll. First stop is going to be Mangapwani. We're going to head on up to Nungwe and we're just going to explore this northern region of this beautiful island. Let's go. Like we're off-roading. Following the signs Where are you and going? Well Google says it's this way. It looks very nice and mm. green, doesn't mm. it? Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing worth finding is easy to get to, you know? That's the rule of life. It's the rule of life. <laughs> and now we're now we're off-roading. Well, look at those rocks. Uh, is I this think the right I need, way? I'm gonna go the way where the cow is. Okay. It looks nicer. Cow, here we come. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure how many people come here. It doesn't look like a very uh, hot spot, you know? Somebody like, just so... approached the car and was just like, Hello! <laughs> Are you here for the case? <laughs> no experience is too bad. Everything is amazing. He's coming now with torches. Yeah. A torch. What for? For the caves. For the caves. <laughs> So I guess he's our tour guide, whether oh, yeah? we like it or not. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where are we going now? Ah. Okay, give me, head, give me a hand, give me a hand. Yeah. As soon as you pull up, literally the, right by where you park the car is the entrance to the cave. I guess going with one of these local guides is probably a must. We didn't get a choice. Wow. Okay, this is very dark and I can see lots of bats already. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, I can hear them. I can't see them actually, that was a lie. We're not gonna drink I that. Think if I, if I if drink, we drink this water, that, I'm gonna lose a few pounds. I think uh... we're gonna get sick. <laughs> so yeah, apparently these guys drink from that little pond over there. Okay, yeah. all right, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> What's magic? These are called stalagmites. I'm Very glad cool. you know uh, stuff about caves. Because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a clue. So if I remember rightly, okay. how I was taught, Be careful. stalagmite okay. yeah. comes from Be above, because yeah. like the night sky. So stalagmite comes from mm -hmm. above, and stalactites come from the floor because you pull up your tights. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think that's right. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Mind your head. Mind your head. Okay. It's very tight in here. Okay. It's a very, very good water. Fresh water. The fresh wow. water is a drink. It's a looking area. Wow. It's a very, 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 very good area. This is crocodile stone. This is crocodile stone, mm -hmm. this is a monkey stone. Okay. Five, ten minutes you walk into the cave and then you get to this beautiful swimming pool. crystal clear swimming pool. Ah. You can swim in it, I'm not going to swim in it, but you can swim in it. Do you like swimming? I'm not wearing the right clothes for swimming. It's very nice. Oh, very, very, very good area. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fresh, huh? Fresh, soft, soft. Mm. Mind your head. <laughs> okay. I don't even know where I'm supposed to step now. Okay, be careful. Yeah. 
Well, that was an experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo. laughs> okay. Yeah, I did very good, yeah. Nice. <laughs> While we wait for the roadworks to happen, yeah. how were the caves? Okay, so the caves were really cool. I actually, I went with very low expectations as I tend to do with these things that are just random that we find on a map. It was a lot of fun. The guide that we had, I don't want to get his name wrong. He didn't speak a lot of English, but he was very enthusiastic. He didn't really need to say anything. He just laughed a lot and said, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful a lot. And very nice, very nice. But if you basically, if you go further into the cave, there's a nice swimming pool and everything there. And I think it's worth it. And in the end, it was $5 per adult to do it. I don't know if that's you know a foreigner price as opposed to a local price but I don't mind paying it and the money goes towards the community now we're gonna check out something else in the area there's supposed to be a beautiful beach just around the corner let's go and check it out this reminds me of that one time we went to uh, Chulu Hills in Kenya. Do you remember? <laughs> of course I remember. We, we took a, a normal vehicle. It's like a RAV4 or and something. And we returned it in an absolute state. <laughs> okay, the car was fine, but like it was so Filthy, dusty. Yeah. yeah, just a little Not throwback. We need to link up the video to that. YouTube, you should watch it. <laughs> Okay, we did a very quick stop at Mangapwani. We didn't spend any time there. We literally just went to have a quick look. We don't have much to show you, but those of you interested, here's what Mangapwani Beach looks like. And now we're gonna head a little bit further down the coast where we've seen there's some slave chambers, which is quite historic. Yeah, it sounds quite interesting. So we're gonna go and see if we can find them. There's no guides or anything here. It's just open to the public from the looks of it. There's a small amount of information on the wall there and on a couple of little plaques. And the place is starting to fall apart a little bit, but essentially this place was created during the abolition of slavery. The illicit sale of slaves was becoming quite lucrative business. So they were having to find ways to hide the slaves before they were then shipped off elsewhere. So this is what they would build these chambers that are behind where they would cram the slaves in and they'd be essentially waiting to be shipped off somewhere. So that's what we've come to see and we want to make a point of saying we're going to a lot of places right now that are not on your typical tours. The way we like to travel is we zoom in on Google Maps and we find some interesting looking things and we just stop off. So there's no tourists here, there's not even a proper entrance or anything. We just, we saw it on Google Maps and we thought it was important that we come and have a look. But it's pretty easy to get to. It's on a bit of a bumpy off-road part, but the trusty steed made it down there. Adam's gonna tell you in a minute what happened. We got stopped by police, but he can tell you the story in a minute. We'll make a quick stop and Adam can update you. We have arrived in the beach town of Kendwa and wow. Ina wants me to tell you what happened. Essentially, we got stopped by police on the way here. The reason I'm gonna talk about it is because the idea of this vlog is to talk about whether you guys should rent a car and drive yourself in Zanzibar. And I feel like this is something that you should be prepared for. So we came out of a roundabout, they stepped down the road to stop me and then tried to find reasons essentially that I had done something wrong. They ended up going with, you didn't use your indicator, even though I know I use my indicator. So it is what it is. And I think it happens a lot in a lot of different countries around the world. The police, they want to try and get some money out of you. They were asking for 30,000 shillings. I am a bit of a headstrong person and I point blank refuse because I know that I didn't do anything wrong. And in the end they told me, I ah, just go if you want to avoid confrontation in those kind of circumstances if you want to just pay them that's on you i am a little it bit more stubborn it wasn't a lot of money but you just have to be prepared in certain countries that this is going to happen i was ready for a fight so <laughs> i was and just I was like, just there like ah! <laughs> it's something that's worth knowing before you do it you probably will get stopped at some point and you may get asked for money that's on you if you want to they can find something if they can find a reason or make one up Welcome to Kendwa, I guess. So far, anyway, I haven't seen it. <laughs> We've literally just got here. <laughs> no, I just, it feels different. Okay. Instantly, it let's, feels different. Let's check it out. Hey babe. Hi. Do you fancy some seafood salad? Some seafood. Some seafood. Well, either that, or the dishes that come with French fries or rice. Oh, what was the other one? French fries or rice. Rice. I'm not so hungry. <laughs> We are at a restaurant called Foraha in Kendua. It's right on the beach, it's very colorful, and it's vibey. we can't be bothered to look anywhere else. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that was, this is like the biggest bruschetta I have ever seen. It's so big that it went on your nose. I was saving that bit for later. Oh yeah. <laughs> It was okay, not bad. Ended up coming to 99,000 shillings, which is not overly cheap, but it's a beachfront restaurant, so it's kind of what you expect. The food was okay, the vibe was nice. It did take a long time though. Nina was getting a bit hangry. So now we're just walking along Kendwa Beach. This does not feel like Africa. It, it, it's, it's a very, feels a bit fake to me. I don't know, what do you think? It doesn't feel the same as Paje. Like, I feel like there's a chance we, we're actually walking on fake sand right now. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's very beautiful, but it's a little bit too resorty. It's I think, very different, for me. but I think that's yeah. the, the deal uh, with the yeah, yeah, Norway yeah. as well. Right? For sure. But that's just first impressions. I'm not slating the place. It's very beautiful, and there's a lot of people here, so it must be doing something right. But we're on our hunt now for ice cream. Malia is an ice cream addict, so we have to scratch her itch. Right, Malia? Are you itching for ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> so we're back at our favorite gelato place, Mamma they're, Mia. They're everywhere, huh? Yeah, they're all over the island. We've actually seen them in pretty much every new area we've moved. Here it is on the beach, but this is probably the best spot because view, right? we're going to go and swim after this. So yeah, excited. Perfect. There's oh, like, yeah, there's a little it. guy who's made my legs his home. <laughs> so he thinks I'm some kind of reef yeah, or an enemy or something. And You're he's just like reef. hiding around my legs. I don't really want to leave because I feel like I'm making him homeless. Malia really wants me to get out of the water because it's making her want to try and catch him. Right. I think I'm getting a, an idea of the vibe of this place now. Yeah. We have a crazed animal following us. Here is set up a lot more for the hotel crowd and you know they do beach parties and sunset cruises and all of that kind of stuff. So it's it definitely has a place and it has a vibe. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in Zanzibar. I have to say, if you're gonna drive in Zanzibar, you better be ready for the state of these roads. <laughs> like, this is unreal. It's like Not off road. Not all of them, the main roads are fine. Now I see why they were like, yeah, just if you're driving, rent a 4x4. I agree with that. If you are driving, rent something with a high ground clearance, because some of these roads are trash. We are leaving now from our cute little hotel to go to... The beach. Malia got it, Nungui Beach. We're staying about six minute drive from Nungui Beach or about a 20 minute walk according to Google. So we're gonna drive there and then In 600 hopefully. Meters at the roundabout, take the first exit. Thanks. And then yeah, we're gonna go and explore the popular area of Nungui. The road to the beach is actually just like amongst these houses. It looks like we're just in a little neighborhood. I think I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> With the villages, the impression I get is that every day little houses just pop up here and there. So where there's meant to be a road, there is no longer a road. No, Follow no. signs or actual directions than just Google Maps, which seems to be taking me around the houses a bit. <laughs> all right, that was a traumatic experience. We ended up at Nungui Beach where all the fishermen are. It was very beautiful, but it's not where we wanted to be. But that's where Google Maps took us. We've then since seen that there is Nungui Beach, then there's Nungui Public Beach, and then there's this area where we're going to now, which is actually technically not Nungui Beach. So what we did is we put in the terrace. So we figured if there is Mamma Mia and there is a popular restaurant, we're probably in the right place. And it looks now a bit more lively. Little tip, head to the terrace. We'll confirm that in a minute when we actually get to the beach and confirm that there is a beach here. Okay, you're eating. All right, Starfish and sea urchins. Are you gonna show me? Yeah, that's blue. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. Yellow. I've never seen this color. Whoa. Before. That's pretty. And let me show you oh, the look, other look, 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 look. Let's go to those. There's two there and two there. Wow. Whoa. What are they? 
looks like we're in the right place. We've got the action behind us here and over here. It's a beautiful area. I will say it's a little bit rocky and corally and there are sea urchins and starfish and things in the water. So I'd say it's less of a swimming spot. We're gonna do a comparison in this vlog between Kendua, which is five minutes down the road, and Nungwi, which is actually one of the most popular areas here in Zanzibar. So far, they're completely different. But there's a little hidden beach that we are gonna take you guys to which is a place that not many people go, so stay tuned. So it seems that Mamma Mia is following us around Zanzibar because everywhere we go, they're there. <laughs> Coffee's here. Coffee's here. Nice. Asante. So yeah, coffee, gelato, and this place apparently does food as well. We kind of removed ourselves from the beach. It is busy down there. We can elaborate a little bit more on what we think about the beach anyway, but we just wanted to let you know that we're decided amongst all of these restaurants and hotels. We're gonna stop at Mamma Mia because we've eaten with them already so many times. They should sponsor us. <laughs> Welcome back to Kendwa. You want taxi, mate? Taxi boat? Okay. Come, I'll take you somewhere nice. <laughs> All right, so we came back to Kendwa. Hands down, better for swimming, chilling, being in the sun, being as a family. Nice white sandy beach. For us versus Nungwi, it wasn't really suitable for, for swimming or anything. Here, I mean, look at this place. We're going on a taxi boat now. Follow us. Going fishing again. It's times like this when you don't want to be having to control a drone. <laughs> this is when the Insta 360 comes in handy. We've arrived at the beautiful Kalindi Beach. Kilindi. Kilindi. Thank you. <laughs> Kilindi Beach. Courtesy of Raj from Dolphin Taxi Boat here with his little Rasta mobile. It's a really nice little cruise around the coastline there and just then stopping here it took about 15 minutes but it can take as long as you want really. It's beautiful. Let's show you guys a little bit more. So we've gone in for a little swim. There isn't just one jelly, there's like many and I've seen a, a tiny baby. So I'm gonna go back in. Where is it? Right in front of you. They, they're, they're gone, they've kind of vanished. They've run away? Yeah. Don't worry, we'll keep finding we'll I think they've around. gone a bit deeper maybe, running away from us. Oh, there, there's the baby, here. Baby yeah. yeah. See the baby? Oh, yeah. We're moving on a little bit. Basically, we seem to have stumbled across a jellyfish breeding area <laughs> or something. <laughs> They seem to be harmless. He, he picked one up and it was fine. But he's still alive, so. I don't really want anyone peeing on me for the jellyfish things. <laughs> yeah. There should be a little beach a little bit further around here. We're just gonna so have we're a gonna little... go and explore. Yeah. Tropical ice cream, so we're back at Mamma Mia, which is just here on the beach, which is super amazing. It is a public restaurant. Is it a public restaurant? This is a public, this is a public restaurant. That was a really nice way to end sunset, and we're looking for somewhere to eat. And we found this restaurant called Essence, so let's go and check it out. Are they going to let you in? They better, because I've got nothing else. <laughs> They're going to let her in. <laughs> <laughs> We're an absolute mess. <laughs> right, let's check it out. Let's go. Yeah, 
So I ordered chili chicken. It looked nicer a second ago before I dumped it on the plate like a dump truck. I got Greek salad without onions and peppers, so it doesn't look so Greek anymore. Not a Greek salad. Um, samosas with vegetables and naan. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are warm. <laughs> Good morning. So we wanted to wrap up our time here driving up to Nungui and at the same time doing a little bit of comparison between the two areas that we've visited of Kendwa and Nungui. If you are going to rent a car here in Zanzibar, it's relatively straightforward. We're going to link up the company that we used to rent the car. It's just for you guys to know that we got a nice car. They're a trustworthy company. We're not paid to say that or anything like that. The car's been great. If you are going to do that, be aware, you will probably get stopped a couple of times by the local police force. Sometimes they're friendly, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they'll ask for money, sometimes they won't. Make sure you do everything that needs to be done, like yeah. indicate and wear your seatbelts. Just, yeah, at the end of the day, look, follow the law, drive safely, drive carefully, take your time. If you do happen to get pulled over, if you know you haven't done anything wrong, it's up to you if you want to stand your ground stand your ground or not but overall it was a pleasant experience driving the main roads are great the side roads suck don't rent a small car rent something with four-wheel drive or at least with a high ground clearance that's the main thing with the car with the two areas Nungui and Kendwa are only five minutes away from each other but they are completely different Nungui is a little bit more raw and rugged the beach is very busy lots of cellars it wasn't our vibe personally. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, so far it's the least favorite place that we've visited since being in Zanzibar. But I think there's some really nice hotels there. So if you're planning to just do a hotel stay for a few days or a week or whatever, check out the hotels. They might have a beautiful pool and amazing staff. And, and I'm not saying don't go to Nungui. Kendwa, on the other hand, is very beautiful, really nice for a sunset, really amazing for swimming. The only negative I would say is you could be anywhere in the world, in my opinion. It doesn't feel like Africa, let's say. It was, it was say. also quite busy, a good amount of busy. It's a beautiful swimming spot, like as it well. It is really which nice. Made it really, really nice because nowhere we've been in Zanzibar has been so beautiful for swimming mm. as it is here. True. And Malia absolutely loved it. Yeah, like, Kendwa. She just to be on that beach. Beautiful water, calm. Lots of water sports, nice hotels, but beautiful sand. That you could stay in Nungwe and come to the Kendwa. Yeah, for sure, it's, that's it's exactly just, what we did. Just... Dolphin Taxi Boat, the guy who we, we'll put the details down below, the guy that took us out yesterday, he does transfers between Nungwe and Kendwa there in his go. boat. So you don't even have to rent a car or get a Perfect. taxi. For me, it felt like we could have been in like Dubai or somewhere like that, you know? Yeah. Perfect white sand, everything looked a little bit fake almost but it was very nice and i definitely see why people go there definitely the most sort of resorty nice area that we've been to so well, far before we wrap up our time in zanzibar we're gonna talk in its own separate videos about the difference in between different areas in zanzibar and where you should stay depending on what you're after mm -hmm. obviously everybody has their own needs a family will stay somewhere to a backpacker you mm -hmm. know so we're gonna break it all down in a separate video after only the areas that we've managed to visit. Yeah, not Australia, every single place. We'll do our but best. I think this is it. It is it. So with that, there's only one more thing to say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Chicky says bye. Bye. <laughs>